Hey you guys, I want to show you guys my routine for doing a face mask. Um, whenever I, I just got these new masks fairly recently. I used them like a few times and I really like them. So currently I do have some bumps because I did wear or makeup a few days ago and then I am on my cycle. So that could have an effect on my face. So. First, you want to use whatever cleanser you have and cleanse your face first. Um, this is what I, what I use. If you want to also purchase this, I'll put the link down below. But basically, use your cleanser, um, wet your face first, and then you put the cleanser on your face and massage it through. And then once you do that, I, I go in with this kind of exfoliator sponge type scrub. It's very gentle and it's for also like sensitive skin. Um, and that actually like lifts out and gets, it gets the cleanser really into your pores so that like the dirt comes up. So like when I wipe my face afterward and dry it, I see like actual like dirt like coming off as like before when I was just using a, a washcloth like I wouldn't see that much dirt on the washcloth um then after you cleanse your face I uh, so I have these two masks the first one I'm going to use on my face is this cleansing apple cider vinegar clay mask plus scrub. So you can use this as a cleanser or you can use it as a mask, but I'm gonna use it for a mask for the situation. So it says to, I think you have to apply this. Yeah, this is the right one. So you just apply the mask to face and neck, avoid contact with eyes, leave on for three to five minutes, no more than 10 minutes, rinse with warm water, and discontinue use if irritation or redness occurs. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm gonna use this first. And then after I do that, I'm gonna wipe it off and rinse it off, and I'm gonna use this peel off gel and it's in, I think that's the pomegranate. So it's supposed to instantly purify and refine pores for young, youthful skin. So this is going to be a peel off mask. Um, you have to apply an even layer to clean dry face, avoiding eye area, eye area, eyebrows, hairline, and lips. Leave on 10, 10 to 15 minutes or until dry. Gent gently peel off mask from outer edges, rinse with warm water, use twice a week or as often as needed. So yeah, I'm gonna put on this one and then um, I'll show you how the process goes. So this is how the first mask look looks on my skin. This is how it's supposed to look. You can put it over your eyebrows because it didn't say anything about that. Um, so I'll let that sit for What's it say? Three to five minutes, no more than 10 minutes. So maybe I'll, I'll set a timer for five minutes and I'll see you when I wash it. So it's been five minutes and it's dry and I'm just gonna wash it right off.
So now what I'm gonna do is get a like a smaller towel to dry my face off. So I use this and like pat it dry. I'm gonna keep that that um, washcloth that I used to to like get the mask off after this this one too. After I like peel it off, because I know I can't get every single piece off my face, so I'm gonna apply this all over. And I keep this dry towel too for later. And I'm gonna s just let it dry until it's like completely dry because it doesn't really have a max time limit on it. And I will be right back. So my mask is already starting to peel. So I'm just gonna start peeling it off. And if it's drying, you have trouble to, um, getting it the peel to start, you can just move your like mouth around like like this and it'll start peeling up. So for the rest of it that I can't really peel off, I'm going to use my washcloth again and try to get these like little pieces. So, once you're done with that, you just pat your face dry. Uh, rinse off like the excess on your fingers. Kind of got sticky. Yeah. Dry your hands off. Then you just continue. I just continue with my the rest of my routine. Um, so I'm just gonna use this refining water treatment, a few drops, then pat my hands together, pat my face like that, and extend to the neck too. Uh, oh my goodness. go in with my age control nectar and 
I just kind of put it around the areas that get wrinkles easily. So, then once I'm done with that, I'm going to use my um, use my moisturizer. Turn this light on. So I'm going to face. I see my face in the light. So kind of lightly touch it and work it in. side Here is my face after using um, those face masks. It, it does look a little bit more even tone because there was, um, like, I do have some unevenness. Um, the bumps seem to, like, be less noticeable, but it may take some days to even continue to improve, so... That is all for, for my face mask routine. And I hope you guys check out other videos that I have. I have a, a morning routine that I have um, on my channel. And I also have a how I got rid of my dandruff video that I did last. So um, if you want to continue and follow my journey, you can subscribe. And I will continue to try to make as much content as I can and you can let me know what else I should add for my videos and I hope you guys have a great week and the rest of your day.